Hey, what's going on everybody? Ben here. Today I wanted to talk about books, okay? Piggybacking off a thread that Ryan and I have been talking about this week, maybe last week, is like what books should I read? And um, it's kind of a trick question because the answer is ah, probably none, <laughs> right? So uh, Ryan said in his tweet today that when he first met me, I had read more business books than anyone he knows. And at the same time I was broke. Right, and that is completely true. So if you look, I have this, this shelf right here, full of books, autobiographies, a lot of business books, a lot of sales, copywriting, marketing. Down there in this uh, bin, I have another, it's completely full of books and I just haven't bought another bookshelf. Right, so you name it, I read it. But, here's the thing, um, the reason why most people like in my situation read a ton of books but they don't really do anything is really because reading books is like an excuse for taking action if you think about it for me you know, I don't need to read knowing what I know now I don't need to read like 30 business books or 30 sales books to go out and make a sale um, but a lot of people they have this this thing in their head it's like no, before I can take action, I need to be, I need to know 100% how to do X, right? Before I can get a copywriting client, I need to know 100% how to do it. And that just causes them to keep on doing stuff <laughs> that is not actually doing the thing, okay? So it's like, before I can learn sales, I have to know every single objection handling, I have to know every single thing about sales, the mindset, all that stuff, before I can call someone, and so they spend hours or weeks or months or years avoiding actually calling the person and just actually getting experience, you know? Um, for me, I think, as a side note, I think that comes from when we were back in school. Obviously, everybody wants to get like an A on their tests, on their exams. They want to get 100, uh, like a 100 mark. That would be amazing, right? You're so smart. And it has this, it instills this fear into us of being wrong and doing things not 100%, right? But if you think, if you put that in business terms, if you only took action when you were 100% confident that you're going to get the result you wanted, like nobody would take action because you're never 100% confident or 100% certain, right? Um, yeah, so this is something that we kind of have to beat out of our clients' heads a lot of the times because a lot of them get in, stuck in this perpetual seeking they're always seeking something, right? And for some people, this causes them to jump from course to course to course, or from like coaching program to coaching program to coaching program. There's this pattern, and this the pattern always comes down to avoiding something that's hard, okay? So for example, we teach a lot of different ways for lead generation in our programs. One of them is um, automating LinkedIn, right? So automating your direct messages and then getting people on the to start a conversation and get on the phone and then you can close them, right? It's, it's a cool method, it works. But a lot of people, you know, these, they'll spend all this time and they'll ask us all these questions about making their system perfect when really that's just another way to avoid doing the work because it's, at the end of the day, it's a lot easier to get rejected um, from someone you don't know or you're not talking to over the phone or face to face like if someone says no to you on LinkedIn, not a big deal, but if you're, if you call them, let's say you do cold calls or warm calls as uh, we teach and they're like mean to you, well, that's like a whole different thing and people will like run from that. So yeah, I mean, if you're a very beginner, there are some, I will say that there are some books that you should read, right? If you're super new to internet marketing, you don't know what anything is, you know, uh, a good book is probably like Dot Com Secrets by Russell Brunson, right? If you're super new to like copywriting, go read like Dan Kennedy for uh, anything really, but especially like the ultimate sales letter. I, I started with that book, which is like, it's funny because I like a lot of the, when I was starting marketing, I actually started with like the best of the best without really knowing it. But then I was like, well, let me see what all these other people are doing. When really, I could have just stayed with what Dan Kennedy teached and like not went to any other book and I would have been fine. I could have got started on like the same week of reading that book 
rather than taking six extra months to read all the other books, okay? So, you know, if you find yourself in this pattern, really you have to ask yourself, what, what am I avoiding? What is the hard thing that I'm avoiding right now? Because if you think about it, man, like there are so many strategies out there for free. Um, if you're always thinking, oh, I just have to know how to do it. There are so many free strategies out there on YouTube, on books, podcasts. You know, I've listened to podcasts before, and I'm not lying when I say this. I legitimately, after the podcast was over, I was like, I have spent over $2,000 to learn the exact same information that this guy just gave for free on his podcast. This is amazing, <laughs> right? But of course, everyone who listens to it doesn't pay, so they don't, they don't uh, take away from that. But that's another topic. You know, um, I don't really have much else to say on this, right? So I guess hopefully this you've taken something away from this. Um, yeah, I mean, books are great. You know, a lot of people do trash on books, like, oh, you shouldn't read books. And I disagree, you know, it's, it's probably better to read books than like sit at home and watch the fucking news all day, <laughs> which most people are doing, right? So, you know, I don't regret reading these books because, well, I, I almost, I still feel like every single book you read has like, it's like a mini, it's like an investment, right? It's like, I can track back dollars just a lot of these books. Like, oh, because of what I've read in here, you know, I've, done, I've changed this and I made more money, right? So that's my stance on reading. Now, uh, with that said, I'll let you guys go. If you got this far, you know, thanks for sticking around. And by the way, if you were um, in one of these, one of the states, or if your city has been, people have been rioting and looting and stuff, hopefully you're staying safe. You know, I've been staying pretty quiet about this whole thing because really, uh, that's just, you know, I just, I just stay focused on myself and my business and my clients. And while the world is going crazy, you know, this is what we do. Um, anyway, <laughs> enough of me rambling. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy this. If you want to know which, what are like the top books to read though, I'll probably do another uh, video on that or, or post or something um, if you're actually curious, all right? So yeah, with that said, see you guys next time. All right, bye.